How's it going, everyone? The final injury report is out for the Packers, and it's not, it doesn't feel as long as of an injury list as it was last week. And there's a lot of good news in it, and there's actually only one player that's already been rolled out in two players that are questionable going into the game against the Texans. So going through it, we have Jair Alexander, Kenny Clark, Elton Jenkins, Tucker Craft, Josh Myers, Jaden Reed, and Christian Watson with no game day designation, and they are fully going to be available and good to go in this game against the Texans. Um, I skipped over Jonathan Ford because he is currently still on the injured reserve designated to return as of this moment. Uh, the reason I say that is because going on to the next three players, Don Tavian Wicks, who had that shoulder injury, uh, is listed as questionable. If he's not good to go, then they'll probably just roll with the receiver group they kind of have been going with. But as of right now, he is questionable, which is pretty good considering it did look a little bad, but good to go. Or could be good to go. And then we have Colby Wooden, who has a knee injury on our defensive line. He is listed as questionable. And Devontae Wyatt for the third straight week, that is, I believe. Uh, he is officially ruled out. So and this is where Jonathan Ford is why I'm saying he's currently on injured reserve at this moment. Because, A, Devontae Wyatt is out. If Colby Wooden cannot go in this game, then it's going to only leave three defensive linemen in Kenny Clark, TJ Slayton, and also Carl Brooks. And so they would need to call up a fourth one or potentially activate Jonathan Ford. If the Packers do decide to actually activate Jonathan Ford, they'll have to make a move and actually release a player as well to make room for him. So tomorrow is going to give a pretty good indication, I believe, of how they feel Colby Wooden is for this game. So really not a bad injury report for the Packers. Seems like they are getting healthier, which is very good. Um, as for the Texans, they are pretty banged up. I believe they have five players out and two players questionable. So for them, they have on uh they have Azir Al Shahir or Shahir. He is currently out for them. Folorunzo Fatukasi is currently questionable for them. Didn't participate the first two games, but was a limited participant on Friday, so that's why he's questionable. Kamari Lassiter, um, he is officially out for them. Then going further down, Henry Tooto, he is currently out for them. Jimmy Ward and Robert Woods is out for them, and Steven Sims is listed as questionable for them. So they are a little bit banged up over there on the Houston Texans side. But just coming out with an update on the Packers and the Houston Texans injury report considering how injured they are. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, Go Pack Go!